So we just spent some time creating our first table, the visit table, but I want to go ahead and start to expand on this. The idea of a database is being able to have all of these different kind of things of data that somehow interweave together. Uh, so the first thing I kind of want to think about is, well, if we look at a visit, for example, well, a visit typically has a bill to it as well. So I want to go ahead and create that bill. And so you notice, okay, well, how do I do that, especially since uh, I don't get that luxury of having the same kind of table popping up like we did with the visit table when I started my database. To do this, we go to our Create tab, and you see that we get a few different options. The one I want to actually click on this time is Table Design. Now, Table Design, Table Design, if you notice, looks a little different. It's not the luxury that we see with Visit, which is more the traditional Microsoft Excel style with my records going down, my uh, columns going up top, now called fields. Now things are a little different. Now there's no data. Now I'm literally making each one of my fields first. I'm making all of my columns because there are none currently in my database. So the first one I'm going to go ahead and name is uh, uh, Invoice no. Again, we're talking about billing, so it makes perfect sense to be having uh, a billing number to that. And again, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and hit tab. You see that we get our data type, and we can select from all of the same data types we've worked with in the past. I'm going to go ahead and just keep it as short text. Now, you notice over here we have this section called description optional. Well, that's because if we kind of look at it, notice I said invoice num no space okay well what does that mean okay we can infer invoice number but you know that doesn't always happen that's not always naturally the case so the description gives us uh, a way as people as uh, you know not computers uh, to understand what we're doing one of the other things I can do here is I can also add in something known as a little comment saying this is called my primary key. Now, my primary key, it technically has not done anything just yet. Again, the description is just like a comment talking about what we're dealing with. But over here in my design tab, you might notice that I have over on the far left uh, something that says primary key right there. And if I click on it, you notice I get a little key right here that appears by invoice num. The primary key now specifies that this field, this, this part of my record is going to be unique and never uh, null, never blank. What that allows for me to do is now have this unique identifier for every one of my invoices. That way I don't uh, at any point in time accidentally have two invoices of different amounts with the same number. You can think of this like your social security number. You wouldn't want someone else to have your social security number and then them go to a bank and take out, you know, a hundred thousand dollars in loans because, well, you both now owe a hundred thousand dollars in loans. So we don't want those kind of things. This primary key, what it does is it explicitly is now saying that can't happen.